Hey, Art Nerds! Today we are on our third of our three Dollar Tree pencil reviews. Today we are taking a look at the Artist Graphite pencils. In the past, we took a look at the Artist Watercolor pencils and the Artist Metallic pencils, and I recommend you guys check those videos out if you haven't done so yet. So by now, I feel like you guys probably know the drill. These were purchased at Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree on Elmwood in Louisiana. They were purchased at Dollar Tree for a dollar. We receive six pencils and they all look to have sort of the same body screening. So that is something that is uniform throughout the three pencils that we have reviewed. They are pre-sharpened and they claim to be artist quality pencils. These are plain graphite pencils, so I'm expecting to see six grades of hardness rather than like six 6B pencils or six 2H pencils, something like that. They are made under the imprint of Papercraft and they are made in Thailand and imported by Greenbrier International, which is sort of the parent company of Dollar Tree. So let's just go ahead and dive in to this review. This is part of a longer ongoing series of Dollar Tree product reviews for the summer of 2019. These reviews were not sponsored in any capacity. They were done of my own volition and all supplies were purchased out of my own pocket. As I unbox these pencils, I'm already noticing something that is different from the other Dollar Tree pencils we've looked at. And these are super duper rolly, so I apologize. Um, there is some body screening. We can see this says 2H. So we have a 2H, an HB, a B, a 2B, an H, and a 3B. And I believe this goes up here if we are working in scale of hardness. So I am going to go ahead and move these over to the side, trying to keep them in order. But since they are so rolly, that's gonna be a bit of a challenge. We're gonna go ahead and just kind of start swatching, messing with these pencils, seeing how they handle. So I am holding their 3B. It is pre-sharpened and already I can say this feels a little bit harder than what I'm used to when it comes to B leads. I use B leads pretty frequently when I'm doing graphite transfers. So I'm expecting generally something a little bit softer than these. This would be the 2B. Next, we are taking a look at the B. And they do feel like they are getting a little bit progressively harder as we go. The graphite itself is fairly smooth. Next is H. Oh, oh, okay, gross. No, I think I must have gotten it out of order. I need HB first. But that is H, it is scratchy, it is very hard is kind of unpleasant to use. Here is our H. Slightly better, still scratchy and fairly hard. H, B, oh sorry, H, B. Out of order. And then we have our 2H. So they do get harder as we go, which is, you know, pretty typical going from B to H with graphite. Let me try that again in order. Alright, so 3B. Fairly soft. Somewhat dark. Not as dark as I expect. Okay, 2B. Maybe a smidge harder, maybe a smidge lighter. I don't really see it though. Next is B. Mm. Handling it, I'm not really seeing a difference between these two grades. Then we have HB. This is much harder. It's fairly lighter. It's harder to kind of fill the area. So now we now we shifted in terms of hardness, next is H. Much lighter, much harder than the HB. To me, this feels like a 2H. And then finally, we have our 2H, which is a little bit softer, I think, than the HB. Wow, 
well, the 2H and the HB might be about the same, but the H is harder than I expected. I'm not really sure what to make of these. I used a lot of graphite pencils when I was in undergrad because I used to do realistic graphite portraits. And I would do big realistic graphite portraits. They were like 11 by 14. Um, so I used graphite pretty frequently then. So these all feel sort of like the same grade. 2H feels softer than H and it feels almost the same grade as the HB. And I'm not really sure, I'm not really sure what to make of it. Um, I think, I think, uh, I mean, the thing is, you can get, depending on your Walmart, you can get different grades of pencil hardness at Walmart, and you can get them at Michael's. So it's not like this is an art supply store exclusive thing that you can now get at Dollar Tree. It's not like Dollar Tree is adding additional accessibility. Um, I'm just, I'm, I don't know, kind of confused by them to be honest. I'm not really sure what to make of them or what to say. I think the grading is incorrect and um, I don't know. Okay, let's, let's talk about pros instead of like just focusing on confusion and cons. The leads inside have not snapped, they've not broken. They are not overly difficult to use. They um, are not overly dusty, which is another thing you can sometimes get with cheap pencils. I mean, they, they pencil, they pencil in lead, which is, you know, pretty standard, pretty much what you're looking for when you're uh, buying pencils, I'm sure. Um, I haven't sharpened them yet, so I can't tell you, but they are wooden pencils, but um, they have sort of this like matte finish, which I think is just a wraparound sticker. It is nice that they've uh, bothered to put the lead hardness on the pencils because otherwise I, mean, I would have guessed a completely different order. But yeah, they don't necessarily seem to be uh, that different. Now I'm gonna do a thing I tell you guys not to do. I'm gonna use my finger. Oh, y'all, it doesn't even smear. That is a 3B and it's not smearing. Now we're gonna use a different finger. I mean, it's picking up onto my fingers, but we're not getting any smearing. What's going on with these pencils? I don't really know. I don't really like them. Um, I think if you're in a real, real pinch, they might be okay, but I think you should go to Walmart or Michaels rather than buying these Dollar Tree graphite pencils. There's really only two to maybe three grades that I'm seeing. I'm seeing a B that's very hard. I'm seeing an H and I'm seeing an HB and I'm not really seeing anything else with these. So you get six pencils, but I don't think they accurately refle reflect the hardness inside. And I'm also really confused how we can have a 3B that doesn't smear because 3B lead is very soft and it's already prone to smearing. In fact, you have to use a fixative to kind of adhere it to the paper so it doesn't smear all over the place. So I'm a little bit confused by these. Um, I'm not impressed by them. And um, I didn't think I was gonna be impressed impressed, but I did like the other two that I reviewed, I like the metallic and I like the watercolor pencils and I thought for what they were, they were okay. And for these, I'm like, well, they're pencils. So it's hard to be like, they're bad. I 100% don't recommend them because they're pencils and they function as pencils, but they don't really function as graded graphite pencils. And what's weird is often when I'm using art supplies that I consider, actually this one's ready to be sharpened, so maybe I'll do that on camera right now. When I'm using art supplies um, 
that I think are subpar. You guys know I don't really have a problem telling you guys I don't like them. But these are so weird to me because they're, they're pencils and they pencil is all I can give you. All right, I'm gonna go grab a sharpener. I'm actually gonna grab a nice pencil sharpener and we'll try sharpening these on camera because how well pencils sharpen is a pretty important function of how pencils pencil. So I have here a Coom pencil sharpener. It has a color pencil side and a normal pencil side. And when I'm sharpening like Prismacolors, I usually like using the color pencil side because it's a little bit more gentle, less prone to snapping. We have here our 2B lead. We're gonna pop it into our regular pencil side. Uh, it sharpens, although it's a little hard. Like you hit this point, which I think is the seam on the plastic and it doesn't, quite want to turn as easily. Okay, so it's nice, it's sharp. Let's go ahead and uh, mess with these just a little bit, just to kind of get a better feel for them. So I'm just kind of lightly applying an area of graphite using kind of the side of the pencil. You might also want to use like more of the side of the pencil. Actually, this is a good test because we can see if they'll snap. If they snap very easily, that's not great. So that was 2B. Now we're gonna take, oh, we have a 3B, I'm so sorry. Now we're gonna take a look at 3B, a little bit out of order, but 3B should be darker than 2B. Mm, it might be a little bit softer. I don't necessarily think it's much darker. They do decent coverage though, even though I kind of think it's just the same hardness of lead. They do decent coverage, so do that. Now we have B. And I kind of feel like B, 3B, and 2B are all the same hardness. Actually, I kind of think B might be softer than 2B, which is not, not how pencil work. Next we have HB. Use the side for this. HB is just kind of like your standard, regular old class pencil. A little streaky, very much like a standard, regular class pencil, like very much not an artist quality pencil. And I'm only pointing that out because they say artist quality pencils. Okay, now we have H. A little bit harder, a little bit streakier. Light, much lighter though. Yeah, this does not look like a 2B, it looks like a B. This looks like maybe a 2B, but this, these two, and this is B. B and 3B look like they're the same color. Um, HB is lighter than the Bs, and H is lighter than HB. So at least that checks out, that follows. But then we have 2H, and I think 2H is softer than HB and H. Maybe, um, maybe not, now I'm looking at it. It's certainly lighter than HB, but it's darker than H. So, or maybe even the same color, I don't know. That is not an answer I like to give, because I am pretty familiar with graphite pencils, and I'm not seeing the, the gradation that I'd like to see. Like, Generals makes inexpensive graphite pencils they're not a dollar they're probably like four dollars for a set of 12 now but um, that's what I kind of grew up using when I was a broke high school Beck who only had access to like Walmart for her art supplies so you know um, I'm not unfamiliar with them with, with cheap graphite we're gonna try this one more time I'm gonna try to do them in order too so this is 3b This is 2B. The thing about Bs is not, yes, you can get really dark with them, but I always really liked sort of how soft and smoky they can get, which is not something you can get with lighter pencils. They're also less prone to cut into the paper fibers and sort of embed graphite in your paper. So sometimes they erase more cleanly, which is actually another feature. Since we're testing pencils, we might as well test how cleanly they erase. 
So 3B, 2B, B, H, B. Then H. I don't like how scratchy the H is, but I've, I've never really liked how scratchy the harder leads are. So that's not unusual. And then we have 2H, which I swear 2H is darker than HB in regular H. Okay, so now we're gonna do some erasing. We're not actually using the Dollar Tree eraser that I bought. I did buy a Pentel High Polymer eraser from Dollar Tree. Those are great. I've reviewed those a few times. I've recommended them a few times. They're part of my Walmart review series. So if you really need to see a review of a pencil eraser, you can check that out. But we're going to use the Creative Mark White Stroke. I should point out also that I did my tests in a Blick Studio sketch sketchbook, which is my usual sketchbook. And generally when I'm recording on camera and I'm sketching, this is what I'm using. So they all erase cleanly. Mm -hmm. I'm so torn because they're a dollar. You get six of them for a dollar and a dollar forgives a lot of ills. We're willing to overlook a lot of problems for a dollar. But if you're, if you're buying art supplies because you want to get better at art, these are very difficult for me to recommend because typically when people are spending a dollar on art supplies, it's because they're on a budget and they don't have art supplies already. They're starting their art supply collection and they're not sure what to look for so they don't want to invest a lot of money in a product. And these don't perform the way they should so it's, I can't recommend them despite them being a dollar. Um, if you are an artist who's already familiar with graphite and you kind of know what you're dealing with and you know what you're looking for and you just, you're on vacation, right? And you want to pick up, you want to do some sketching. Um, or you want to do some graphite work or you want to do a graphite transfer something like that and you, you just want to pick up some graphite and know how to like grade it out and sort it for yourself they're okay they're a dollar if you're a younger artist and you are looking for to start your art supply journey I would skip these and I would get the generals ones instead and I particularly like the generals layout pencil if you can find it so you should be able to find um, better quality graded pencils at Michael's and at Walmart. And if the budgetary aspect is really the deal breaker for you, um, I would wait until Michael's has a 50% off coupon and then use it to buy the pencils. I would not recommend these for like high school assignments or college assignments. So if you're a teacher and you're watching this video and you're, you know, you want to buy enough materials for your class so that every student has a set they can use and if some disappear, that's not a big deal. Um, I would sort these out first um, because what you basically have is you have a B and you have some lighter colors that kind of fall into the H, more like the HB range. So um, that's how I feel about these and I'm really, Sorry, I can't give a more concise answer because they pencil and they pencil okay and they're just a dollar and they sharpen all right and they erase really nice, but you only really get two distinct colors. You get a B and you get something in the H's and that's if you have six pencils. Now the thing is, if they had sold these as, you know, you get three B pencils and two H pencils, I would feel very differently about this because I would feel like that would better reflect what we're actually receiving. So it, it falls into that nuance category and um, I don't know that I can get any more concise or any more helpful with this. So I do apologize that I can give you guys something a little more concrete. Wow, Art Nerds, that sure was something. I thank you guys so much for bearing with me watching this review of the Artist Graphite Pencils. I acknowledge that it is probably not the most help helpful review I've ever given. So I guess my end review, my end opinion is buy these at your own risk. They're a dollar, but you're basically receiving three HB pencils and three H pencils. So just keep that in mind when you purchase these and be prepared to resort them or relabel them as necessary. So in, on that note, I hope this was helpful, useful, and as informative as it can possibly be. 
Hopefully there's an art teacher out there who had to buy supplies for her whole class or his whole class who watched this video and was like, oh, that's awesome, because I get, I just needed a B pencil and an H pencil for each student. So basically we're getting three sets for the price of one set. That's kind of my best case scenario for this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I have more great Dollar Tree reviews coming up in the really near future, and I hope to see you guys again really soon. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of my Dollar Tree reviews, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you guys never miss an update. If you're looking for more in-depth art reviews and tutorials, make sure you shop around, make sure you click around, and make sure you search around on my channel because I have a lot of great stuff for artists of all skill levels here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the near future. Bye, guys.